Alrighty, yo guys, Beast, back with some more Beastly content. So real quickly, these glyphs are actually going to be to a robot fauna. Uh, I would like to go ahead and do a guide over the fauna system, the egg sequencer, and modifying genetically all of the fauna. So we're going to be collecting a robot one. The one we're actually going to be modifying today, though, is actually going to be a wolf-looking thing. But here are the glyphs to a robot. We will be getting the egg today and modifying the robot egg. I do want to see what that turns into. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait another 24 hours from the time of recording this before we can actually view the robotic dog's egg however the wolf one did turn out pretty interesting so do check that out these are the glyphs here pause it where you need to pause it to get all these glyphs this will take you to some robotic fauna guys robot dog here we go so all we gotta do is go through the portal now we will then be looking for a robot dog once we get there they're pretty easy to find uh these are what are called creature pellets these are how you feed fauna and adopt them and things like that uh so through the portal here we go offer food it says ion battery but you can actually use creature pellets to adopt one of these guys uh, but as you can see here we fed him we've adopted him and as you can see here his health was low so we kept giving him some treats uh, it's not ion batteries and it's not letting us give him anymore but gently patting him made him hallway happy or happy and also it was still feeding him so it doesn't look like we actually need ion batteries it just says that creature pellets do work for some reason look at this thing though looks crazy can't believe people don't talk about this more you can actually collect like 12 of these things or maybe even more like this i wish they'd give us like a zoo update where we could display our fauna in like a zoo or something uh just so that we can create some cooler fauna and you can create cooler fauna already so this is johnny janipti this is the one we're going to be modifying today kind of has this bull looking face i don't really like it i want my dog to have you know maybe one horn at max not more than that also all these pokey looking pokey things kind of weird looking so anyway we are gonna have him creating us an egg here the reason why he's laying the egg and not the octopus looking thing i have because i wanted to do that uh it's just because well he made the egg so anyway we collected his egg and we're gonna go and check the inventory and there it is companion egg will hatch in 24 hours so we have up to 24 hours to genetically modify this baby we also have all of the genetically modifying uh components we want today in our die gene growth and neural i have this sorted from first to last in the titling of the ship and then you know each little thing is like categorized by the row or whatever row or the downwards row so anyway this is going to be the first egg this is going to be from Janopti that i just showed you we will be showing you what he became so i'll be showing them like a comparison of to do in a second but for now i'm going to show you some materials you can use uh, i will be leaving on a wiki a link down below to both all four of these little categories here and all the elements you can use there's a little chart on there that will tell you everything you can use for this so you can gather it all maybe make yourself a ship for just this like i do i like to make categorized ships for specific things in the game so that i can just easily hop into them and go do what i want to do and then park it and hop into a different ship so you hear me so uh this first thing we're gonna add in is activated emerald you actually don't have to go through and lower the amount you're holding just go ahead and stick it in there it should automatically give it a hundred dose uh, but we didn't know that at the time, so we were just kind of sticking it in there. Also, I think, I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was, like, confused by a percentage or something. The graph shows percentages, but really all you need to know is what materials do what and which one has a higher percentage, and then just go grab a bunch of that, stick it in a ship. You can just stick the max in, it'll automatically choose the maximum amount you can actually use for a dose. That is something helpful. There's another thing to remember, though, that there is also an overdose possibility on some of these. So you do need to know the exact amount for things like overdose possibilities. This is the gene splitter. The gene splitter is actually going to change the anatomy of the creature. That means its head, its legs, its arms, its body, anything could change about this creature. So you don't really know what you're going to come out with. The dosage is the only thing that matters. That's more of how much of the stuff is going to be changed. So increase dosage as you want. We gave this one 96%. The weight and height is increased by the growth hormone. I didn't mention that yet, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a full dose of activated emerald here. That is increasing its weight and its height. That means that when it's born, it's gonna be a baby creature. However, when it grows up, it should be much, much larger than its parent was. So the next and final thing is a neural calibrator. This one will adjust or we'll adjust a variety of different moods. We'll go over all the different moods in just a second when we get to that part. But as you can see, this says modification complete. This is the only creature we currently have collected an egg for, so I will seek y'all once the 24 hours have passed. So this thing right here, this Geota thing walking around, that is what we created. And this is what we started with. As you can see, the dye injector is affecting the color. So the color has changed. 
This is what we started with. Once again, let's go ahead and summon back out what we came out with in comparison. This is just a baby form of it, but as you can already tell, it has a lot more of a larger horn in there that looks like it's gonna turn into what is a giant spiked horn. Very cool. Also, it's missing all the little spikes that Janopti had. It now has more of like a scaled look to it instead of fur. It has fur still, but there's scales going on to it. I can't wait to see what it matures into. I do believe in 24 hours, it should go up a level and its age its age will just naturally go on as you play the game it will get older which means its growth will go up as it gets older you get it also feed them to get their food made up and then also their happiness you can pat them and feed them you can also ride creatures if you didn't see that earlier with the robot dog you can ride these things like we're playing legend of zelda breath of the wild guys you can even ride the flying things and fly around on them just another thing to note there you can fly in this game you just need flying creatures i don't understand why people don't cover this you can literally get a creature in this game with that looks like articuno i mean come on you can make your own articuno in this guys i want to see a video of people making fauna in the pokemon i am sure you can breed some pokemon in this thing and we can be making our own pokemon guys maybe we can meet up for some battles or something i'm just kidding these things can't currently battle however imagine if that is what the ARG is teasing and imagine if the next update is going to be a Pokemon-ish update where we can battle our fauna guys. Anyway, so helpfulness, aggression, and devotion are the three moods that you are the three things that you can adjust using uh, that one I mentioned earlier. I'll show it once again. We'll explain those three. Uh, there's three different things you can adjust there. Once again, here are the materials we used in the video. I have it sorted from neural growth gene dye so it goes emerald and cobalt uh and then so basically the emerald and the pugnium are going to be neural adjusters same with the cadmium and the gold same with the magnetized ferrite and same with the chromatic materials once again wiki page link down below for all of the different things so you know the materials you can use ahead of time so you can gather them and know what materials to bring with you there is a bunch of other things you have to make in a nutrient processor that probably are better for this i will get on into the best items to be using for this at a later point in uh the future i will be doing more guides over this if this one does well i don't really know why no one's done anything over the fauna creatures or the egg sequencer yet but this is a guide over the egg sequencer so i do believe the next thing we actually did was head back to our eyes and tom portal where we're going to be getting some more eggs real quickly i want to collect three more eggs which i will be showing off in either a shorts or a long form video format i'm thinking a shorts is going to be the best way to show off the new creatures that we breed I think I want to do shorts of cool looking creatures and things. That might be something cool to do. As you can see here, viable egg right here. That is companion egg number one. This is from the octopus looking thing. The way we're going to know what's what is from the first to the last one we picked up. The first one we picked up was from the octopus. So its timer is going to be uh, the closest to complete. The second one we're going to go ahead and select on out is this weird hedgehog looking thing. I figured we'd modify it and see what we can turn it into. We did need to feed it some creature pellets, but once it was happy and also gently patting it can help its happiness induce the egg. As you can see here, another egg is coming out. Another thing to note is for some reason, having fauna hatch eggs will make the sentinels mad at you. So make sure to get this done quickly, guys. If you're on a sentinel planet, you might want to find a non like a paradise planet or something for fauna to be breeding them on. I think that's probably a better place to be getting your eggs at instead of a sentinel planet because this is a little bit annoying and my robot dog definitely didn't like what was going on here, guys. I'm telling you now, but I wanted to get an egg from the robot dog and yes you can get an egg from the robot dog that means you can modify the robot dog i would love to see what all sorts of parts are available for this robot dog this thing has a similar system to the starships part system with sentinel ships where they have a ton of different parts fauna also have a ton of different parts that they can have and changing the anatomy is how you're going to be changing the parts changing the dye injectors how you're going to be able to change the colors so you'll be able to color them exactly how you want if you go look at the wiki with the dye injector it'll tell you what things make what colors you may have to do it a couple times also i think there's a way to get some that are stable 100 percent and will 100 percent do the color you want but they're rare to obtain or you have to make with a 
uh, nutrient processor once again. But here we go. Let's go ahead and start on these three eggs here. We're going to be using just some of the materials I have in my bag. We're just going to be trying different things here. Seeing already, and as you can see, weight and height here, ammonia. So we're increasing it by 58%. This was from the robot dog, guys. So this should be interesting. Gene splitter is supposed to change the anatomy and make it unstable. Can't wait to see what comes out of this. We'll not know till 24 more hours. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this video. This seems like a pretty good guide. Also one geodesite in the dye injector is coloring, but it's an unstable coloring. So it's not guaranteed to be the exact color it's supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be like a purple or something. I don't remember. Definitely go check the wiki there. That will decrease helpfulness. I don't wanna decrease the helpfulness of my fauna. I want to increase it. I wanna make sure it's as helpful as possible. So independence increasing 100% dosage of cadmium. That is our first egg sequenced. Let's go ahead and sequence another egg. I've already showed you everything from the creature pellets you're going to need to catch the fauna. Catching the fauna, I've shown you inducing the egg. I've showed you the gene splitter. I've explained to you the basic fundamentals of what the growth hormone does, what the gene splitter does, what the dye injector does, and what the calibrator does. Being the gene splitter will change the anatomy, meaning the head, the body, etc., etc. Etc. You get what I'm saying. Growth hormone will increase or decrease the weight in the hive. The coloring will be literally just whatever item you put in there will change the color to the item that is set to set the color to. Uh, but it can be unstable and not certain, so it should adjust it roughly to the color it's supposed to be. So yeah, uh, neural calibrator affects different things like its personality. So it can be happier, it can be sadder, it can be playful, it can be super helpful or not at all helpful. So it can be stupid or smart basically. If it's more helpful, I'm assuming it will be helping you more. And that's what you're gonna want to aim for, it's more helpful. That sounds like a very nice thing. I'm thinking these things can even do combat with you. So if you really built one of these really strong, you would have a, a wonderful time in combat against Sentinels these things could just eat the sentinel for you but as you can see here proto sausage does some sort of coloring it says unstable but we're going to try it and devotion decreasing with antimatter we definitely don't want that we're going to use some frost crystals as you can see there helpfulness is increasing by 47 percent the dosage of the growth hormone was just some magnetized ferrite i don't know what's going to happen there let's go ahead and go on the next one now it's fox oops genetic material that means that fox oop was the tentacle looking monster the weird uh squid looking thing i guess it looks more like a jellyfish really but anywho here is the final one this is the weird hedgehog looking thing i don't know it has a possum look to it as well but anywho let's get on into this let's see what materials we use for this one so in the dye injector 100 percent dosage of chromatic materials whatever that is going to do for color we will find out pure ferrite no that's not going to help much frost crystal does increase helpfulness uh, we're also going to add more frost crystal, 94% dosage now. This one should be pretty helpful. That is good. This is once again from that ugly looking thing. So I don't know if we're going to keep it unless the anatomy changes this much. We do want to be adding more frost crystal here. So at 88% so far, I think we actually went ahead and 96% of it. That's okay. So 90% 6% percent anatomy change that's okay with that thing it was pretty ugly hopefully it turns out well i will be posting a short tomorrow sometime when i'm actually able to view these in 24 hours but that should be the last one i do believe this is all guys that is the egg sequencer system this is the companion system and also real quickly this is the companion registry if you want to unlock a new slot you'll need nanites but you can as you see have three pages of six slots that means that's six six twelve eighteen and at least fauna allowed to be collected you can breed them you can abandon them which will get rid of them which you're gonna have to do sometimes which i know abandoning your fauna gives a zoo let me release them in the zoo i don't know but i want to i don't want to abandon my fauna that just seems wrong but i'm out to see is keep it beast mode